and ends online at oe420.com. Time now for the gossip. You like that gossip? Oh. It's the celebrity buzz with a freaking Rika on Power 1017. All right, coming up, uh, Throwback Thursday does continue. We have LL Cool J by request. Time now for celebrity buzz. Jess, what you got today? Jennifer Lopez revealed in a new cover story from Variety that A.O. Edebiri apologized for the comments that she made on the Scam Goddess podcast ahead of their Saturday Night Live show together. The Bear actor said on a 2020 episode that Lopez's whole career is one long scam. She was mortified and very sweet, Lopez said. She came to my dressing room and she apologized with tears in her eyes, saying how terrible it was that she had said those things. The Hustlers actor continued to say that she felt really badly and loved my performance because we had just done my sound check and she actually got to hear me perform. She was like, I am so beep sorry. It was so awful of me. Lopez added that the comments that the theater camp actor made on the podcast was nothing new to her. She says it's funny. I heard similar things said about me throughout my career, and it really didn't affect me at all. Yeah, so. the, um, Ao Edebiri is the girl who's in the bear, mm-hmm. and she had made some comments about Jennifer Lopez, and then ironically, they ended up like this was like a while ago. Yeah, like in a twenty twenty. Yeah, that she was like, you know, like a fake act actress or whatever, you know, and then mm. a couple weeks ago they ended up on SNL together. <sighs> Ao Edebiri was hosting. J Lo was a musical artist. That was a setup. <laughs> yeah, and then, <laughs> but you know, I really like Ao and Beer, and she went and she went in there and apologized <laughs> and was kind of you know upset about <laughs> what she had said, you know. So I love yeah, the bear, by the way. Good. If you haven't seen the bear, highly recommend it. Okay, Leah Remini, uh, she actually shared a lengthy post to social media on Monday, February the twelfth, revealing that her life has been a constant struggle. Since she left the Church of Scientology in 2013, the King of Queens actor said that the harassment she has experienced from the church since leaving has caused her to be consumed by fear and struggle with depression. Leah Remini claims that the church was like full of operatives and agents that follow her and monitor like all of her movements. She added that they also hired people living with severe mental illness to harass and intimidate her putting herself and her friends and family mm. and co-workers in danger. Leah filed a lawsuit against the Church of Scientology and its leader in August of last year. She is accusing them of psychological torture, defamation, surveillance, harassment, and also intimidation. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. It's like a cult. Yeah. And then according to today, Dunkin' Donuts released behind-the-scenes footage of Ben Affleck and Tom Brady playing catch with a football on Monday. In the clip, the Gone Girl actor interrupts Matt Damon and the former QB as they toss the ball around. All three men sporting their orange and pink track suits. At first, Brady throws an easy pass to Ben. Don't do me like that, the Argo actor says, encouraging Brady to throw it with heat. Missing the next pass, Ben adds, yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Hmm. So be on the lookout for that. And then, according to The Hollywood Reporter, Meghan Markle is back in the business of podcasting. The Duchess of Sussex told the outlet in a statement that she will be working on a new podcast with Lemonada Media and re-releasing um, archetypes. These news is, um, it comes, the news comes nearly after a year of her and Prince Harry ending their partnership with Spotify. She says, I'm proud to now be able to share that I am joining the brilliant team Lemonada to continue my love of podcasting or Lemonade. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, but the Suits actor said being able to support a female founded company with a roster of thought provoking and highly entertaining podcasts is a fantastic way to kick off 2024. So um, it's in the works. Yeah. So good for her. Um, they keep showing, speaking of uh, Meghan Markle, they keep showing like the Suits actors. Mm hmm. And actresses like on these commercials, and they showed them during the Super Bowl. They were in a couple yeah. little skits that they did, or whatever. And I keep seeing like all these teases saying, like, is Suits going to come back? Are they going to do another, another season? Because it had ended, right? You know, and um, so I don't know. I don't we'll know. See. We'll see. I, I did like I know Pearson. You had your eyes on that. I did like Pearson on uh, Peacock. They only had one season of that, yeah. but you know, I I do know they're going to release a. Like a spinoff of the regular suit, Suits mm-hmm. L.A. or something like that. Mm-hmm. They said that they were going to do. So I don't know. But they, they keep like teasing like the original cast. Um, I haven't seen Meghan Markle in those teases, but all everybody else. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? 
843, it is the Bill and Jessica Show Throwback Thursday. We do have the Bill and Jessica Black History Moment of the Day.